there. Welcome back. If you thought for a second that I was going to talk about Next.js 13.4, you guessed it right. Congratulations. Okay, this is going to be uh, the first of a series of short videos where I explain in my own words the new and stable app router that is now officially available in Next.js 13.4.1 okay so as we can see here I'm inside the official documentation and this was released like days ago okay and this app router is definitely stable up and running and rec recommended so now I can actually start answering the answer that was made by one of my channel viewers why would I old like why would I teach old Next.js way of doing things when I could and should start talking about Next.js but focusing on the new way of doing things and guess what this user was right he said in about two weeks give or take the <clears throat> the app router should become stable official and highly recommended he was right so in today's video i am going to talk about page routing the easiest the simplest so i actually like to call it simple routing so basically this is not new for anyone so if you're planning to create a website using Next.js, of course, like in any website in the world, uh, you will need pages and you will need a way to navigate them. So this is where routing comes in. And once inside a given page in your website, you need to display some sort of content to your users and this is where rendering comes in so i will be talking about routing on this video so let's just start by creating uh, our project from zero and showing how to go from this up latest but now using all the features and let's talk and mainly see how to do the page routing because there are some differences of course so let's start by creating a new folder and I'm gonna call this folder routing One one o oh, one, which means the basics of routing. Okay, I'm gonna drop it inside my Visual Studio Code as usual, and now I have copied pasted that bit of code. I'm actually gonna uh, open my terminal and I'm gonna copy paste the bit of code that we normally use and I'm going to say dot forward slash I guess this is how it's called in order to create this in the current directory okay would you like to use TypeScript no for this one as lint yes tailwind uh, doesn't really matter but I'm gonna say yes I might need to do a little bit of styling 
using Tailwind, so I'm going to say yes. Would you like to use the source directory? I'm going to say no. And this is where the change happens. Now the question is use app router and it's recommended. So it's not like experimental anymore. So let's just go ahead and say yes to this. Okay. And then <clears throat> For the imports, I'm just going to say, would you like to customize the default? No, I do not want to customize anything. For the imports, I'm going to get only the standards. So I say no to this option. Boom. And as you can see, um, the Next.js installation is happening as we, uh, as we can check, of course should take just a few more seconds and then we'll go over like the basics of the files and folders but mainly i want to first tell you um how how to create uh, pages okay Okay, let's see. This is taking a bit longer than expected. Okay, success. Great. So, let's have a quick look here. App. So, app is a new, well, it's not really new. Um, this is, let's just stay, um, let's just, let me just be uh, clear. Inside this app folder is where you are supposed to do your routing. You should create your pages inside this app folder. Okay. But the thing is, you cannot simply go inside this app folder and create a new file like uh, about.js for about page and expect this to work. It will not work. But let's test this. It's nice to see. So I'm just going to first uh, do say npm run dev to start my development server. And it's going to open for me on localhost 3000. So I'm just going to grab that window and bring it over here so we can check this. Might take a a little bit but this is the usual so I'm actually gonna inspect right away to check the console okay looks like I've been using this a lot no worries console okay it's still um, opening the page of course because I am recording a video the computer gets a bit um, slower we do see a warning message and I haven't changed anything yet uh, but this is just a warning message let's just ignore this for for the moment okay so this is your usual boilerplate okay and the thing is now your root page the page that we see um right here at the root is currently located inside the app folder and then you get this file called page.js and let me just hide stuff so as you can see page.js that is currently inside the app folder becomes your root page your home page okay so I'm actually gonna just change this get started I'm just gonna remove this get started watch the JavaScript way channel a little bit of shameless promotion to my own channel 
because one of the reasons that I'm doing these videos and it's perhaps the main reason is that I want to show to potential clients working as a freelancer or to companies the way that I uh, think and work with these technologies. So I would like to get hired in the future. So I'm really showing this, all my mistakes, all my progress, all my methods, all the things that I do either right or wrong to the company. So the company actually knows how I do things. And this is what beginners do. And this, there's nothing wrong with this, I think because there's no point for you to try to simulate that you really master something when you don't. That will only increase your imposter syndrome, I believe. Google it. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to refresh. And there you go. Actually, I didn't need to refresh, I believe. Anyways, as you can see here, top left, I change it but my point is you go to app folder this app directory contains this file that comes with the next JS 13.4.1 installation and this is your root actually we can also check our package.json just to make sure there you go, next 13.4.0. This is what I was talking about. Okay, perfect. Okay, as I said, you maybe, because you maybe are not really experienced, and I'm not that experienced as well, but I already know this, I learned it recently. Of course, this is all new. Uh, you probably would assume that you simply could go here and say about.js in order to create your about page. And you could say something like my about my about page. And you will save. And you will go all happy and you will try to access this URL by just typing about. But we'll go, uh, we'll run into an error. Okay, this page could not be found. This is um, Next.js standard 404 error page we can actually customize this to our needs i showed you this on a previous video so but this is not the point okay so let's go to our root so we already know the way that we cannot do this okay so we cannot just place a file here and expect this to work as a page even although that we are inside the app directory right uh, we cannot do it okay so yeah let's forget about it so what is the way then um, how can we how, how can we create this page so the question is simple sorry the answer is simple the question is also simple so what you have to do is inside your app if you want to create pages you need to create a folder for that page so then you say about okay and then inside this about folder now you're going to create your page so you open a new file and the convention is page.js and now you can actually um is a shortcut there you go the correct one I believe yeah and the convention is to use this page.js or whatever extension you need of course and now you're gonna say 
my about page. Sorry. I'm testing my new vertical mouse today. So yeah, I'm trying to adapt myself to this. Just a side comment. Okay, now I'm gonna go and try to reach that page one more time. And I'm just gonna say about. I hope this is going to work. Processing request, there you go. How simple is this? Of course, unlike React, for you to um, to do to create pages and link pages, for you to handle your routing, unlike React, you do not need any uh, extra installation or a difficult technical setup, creating like uh, routes and stuff like that. Whatever. So it's this simple. Basically, you just go inside app, create a folder with a page name, and then inside that folder, you give a file called page.js and you create your component, your React, excuse me, your React component normally. So this is quite simple. And this is all I had to tell you today about simple page routing. So just jump inside Visual Studio Code, install, uh, create your Next.js app at latest version and give it a try. And then let me know if you have any questions or doubts. So see you on the next video. Bye.